What is going on today guys, Tomcat here, and today I'm going to be bringing you guys a video about my incredible experience at uh, Shift Point Motorsports Festival. Now, what this was, was a track day, drift event, and car show pretty much combined all into one. And uh, this first uh, clip of the video here is basically a tour of the uh, hotel room I had for the event. And yeah, it's super early in the morning, it's freaking 5.37 in the morning when I got up. Uh, but um, I got up super early because I wanted to be there. Um, I wanted to be there early. I wanted to make sure that I got a uh, got a really good spot. Uh, what's up, dude? But um, I, I wanted to make sure that I got a really good spot um, in the parking area before going out on the, onto the track. And um, I ended up getting a really good spot, so that was uh, that ended up working out really, really well. But um, when I got there, the sun still wasn't uh, still wasn't completely up. But um, there were already some pretty incredible cars coming in. There was a insane modified uh, Z06 with a, like a sequential gearbox, tons of aero, uh, just ridiculous stuff uh, done to the thing. I mean, it was it it held the uh, the lap record of the day by something crazy like 10 or 15 seconds. It was insane. But um, in a little bit, you guys are going to see some of the footage from on track and. Uh, the, the, the footage I'm actually going to show you is from my very first session on track because I want you guys to see what my absolute first session was like. I didn't actually, I didn't film the final session just because I kind of wanted, uh, like I said, I wanted to get a little bit of a baseline for the very first session. This was my first time on track. Um, all of the experience I had up to this point was uh, was on mountains. So it was definitely a, a very different experience from going from the, like, say, the mountains to the track, especially a really, uh, really high speed track like Atlanta Motor Speedway. I mean, there are some really, there's some other really technical tracks around the area like Atlanta Motorsports Park, but uh, Atlanta Motor Speedway, as you're seeing right now, you got these big banked oval corners, and I mean, just, if you've never been on a uh, on an oval corner before, like a, a banking like that, it is an absolutely insane feeling the first time you do it. It is absolutely ridiculous. You feel like, you, I mean, you feel like you're driving on a wall. It's ridiculous. It, it's, it's an insane kind of feeling, but, um, but when you end up, like when you end up just increasing speed and increasing speed and increasing speed throughout the day, um, it's so satisfying to see like in a corner where say you were seeing like, I don't know, um, say if you were seeing like in, in the infield area, like on one of the more technical sections, if you were seeing, I don't know, 50 or 60 to up that like maybe by even like two or three or four miles an hour, I mean, I mean that that's extremely satisfying to break a, break a little bit later, you know, take take that wh whichever corner you were uh, you had taken for just a little bit faster and you feel the progress you really really do feel yourself progress as you're going along throughout the day I mean and this this section right here has got a little bit of a hill which honestly if you hit it fast enough it becomes a jump but um it's a it was a really fun track it was nice to have the combination between the road course and um, the oval section they called the combination the road course and the oval they called it a like the roval I guess but um, again it, it extremely Extremely, extremely awesome experience, and uh, can't wait to do it again. Now, this was the um, one of the garage areas, and uh, there were some vendors, obviously, as you can see. But people participating in the track day, if they wanted to, could rent a garage space for the day, and it was really cool because you could walk through the garages and see what some of the other uh, some of the other people out on track uh, were doing when they weren't out ha having a session. So. It was really cool to see, like, these are some of the drift cars you're looking at right now, obviously, some <laughs> incredibly built up, um... Now, before I go any further, I did want to give a massive shout out to my friend Andrew for taking pictures of my car on the track. Now, he actually reached out to me before the event started and was like, Dude, would you like me to get some pictures of your car out on the track? And I was like, absolutely. So, I'll leave, I'll leave links in the description box below to where you guys can check out his work because he took a bunch of photos at the event and honestly, they all look, like, all the ones that I went through look really, really, really good. I mean, his photos are top-notch professional quality stuff and, uh, they, he, I mean, he did an incredible job. I mean, he just reached out to me and was like, you know, do you want to do, you know, you want to take a couple of minutes and do some pictures of the car? And, I mean, it was, it, the, the shots came out absolutely incredible. So, again, I really suggest checking out his, uh, checking out his work if you're around the Atlanta area and, uh, need some car pictures taken because the dude is a, a beast at, at taking pictures. And there were other cars too, like, for example, this Mustang GT, one of the, I mean, one of the cool things about it is that you see it from far away and you're like, oh, it's just, you know, your average Mustang GT, and then you look inside it and you see that it's got a lot of track prep done to it. And then you also look at the tires, cause, <laughs> and you see how much it's been run. But, I mean, and the thing is, it's awesome to see such a variety of, like, of imports, muscle cars, I mean, there were some supercars out there, and again, really, really cool variety. 
but um, I definitely had, like I said before, an extremely good time at the event, and um, it's really made me feel like, because I I've always, I'd always wanted to get into track days beforehand, but now it's almost like, it's kind of like one of those things where it's like the addiction has started, and it's like, now I can't wait to go back, now I can't, now I can't wait to go back to do another track day, really at any, pretty much any track, and that's like, now it's all about like planning for these track days and things like that, but um, if you guys would like to see more track days and things like that, then let me know in the comment section below, and um, if you would like me to later on, um, when I'm starting, when I start to do more track days, then I'll start to actually upload some actual uh, raw runs where I just upload the complete lap. And uh, I didn't do that in this video because there was a lot of different things to cover. And um, I, I think I feel like the laps in this video were not as not quite as good as the, uh, not quite as good for video as they could have been just because of just because of the run group I was in uh, didn't always allow for. The, uh, sometimes, sometimes just didn't always allow for the smoothest laps um, because there were there were sometimes uh, I had to deal with traffic and things like that, like traffic during the lap. But um, yeah, like I said before, if you guys want me to go to more track days and get more footage like this for you guys, then I would like it, let me know in the comment section below because I had such an amazing time doing this and it was an extremely incredible experience. So again, hope you guys enjoyed and I will see you guys in the next one. Talk to you guys later.